No worries, I'm not about to become a fashion blogger, but what in the heck am I doing and what does this have to do with planning? Well, you're just gonna have to watch and find out. <laughs> My get it scrapped assignment for this month was to take an outfit and use that as inspiration for a scrapbook page. Now, you must be thinking, Kara, okay, scrapbook page, fashion photos, what the heck? <laughs> Why are you doing all this weird stuff? Where's the planner stuff? Okay, before I tell you when the planner stuff starts, just stick with me for a minute because you can use the scrapbook inspiration in your planner. So don't think just because it's scrapbook stuff that you, it's not relevant to you because I am a scrapbooker too, I was a scrapbooker first, I love my planner, but scrapbooking's awesome too. Okay, so my assignment was to take an outfit, and I'll put it up here for you, so you can see what it is, and I don't have to show my silly pictures of me modeling it again, and take the colors and the patterns and the textures, and use those as in inspiration on my scrapbook page. Okay, if you're a diehard planner fan, then you can skip ahead to the seven minute mark. I think it's actually 702 to get to the planner stuff where I set up a planner using these colors and patterns and all this stuff from that outfit. Okay, so let's get into the scrapbooking if you're still here with me. So I've taken a bunch of things that are orange, yellow, black, cream, and gold. It's a school themed layout, so I was really excited when I found that school themed background paper, which is black and cream, and really went with the theme and the outfit inspiration. Also, I found that checked piece of paper, which is exactly the same pattern as my pants, so I used a little bit under the photo, and then of course the orange because of the orange bag and the orange shoes. I love the pom-pom trim around that frame because it really reflects the knit cardigan. The school-themed elements from Simple Stories were fa fantastic for making it really on theme and making it really fun because it's a really fun collection, and uh, as you can see, my son is a uh, it's quite fun as well, so it's good to have something with a punch of color and fun. This, I had a lot of trouble getting the title together. I just wanted the words to, I love having titles with a bunch of different words. I just couldn't get the words to line up the way I wanted, to, wanted them to. So I ended up moving them around quite a few times to get them to get it right. And uh, yeah, it was a struggle. It, it worked out in the end. I really liked the way it turned out in the end. I liked the letters that I chose but it was just really hard to get them to coordinate and to fit into that space. So I'm moving them around again, and it won't be the last time they get shuffled around, but they do fit in the end, and I really, really like the way it turned out. I love, love, love having a mix of fonts and colors and textures in my title. It just makes it more fun. It makes it, it's just fun. I like long titles, and I like them to be varied and pretty. And then I added the date too. Adding the date was a really good thing because that was probably what set everything off and got it to fit in the end. So here it is, putting in the last letters. This is basically how it's gonna be. This is it, I've got it, it's done. Phew, thank goodness. All right, let's get into some yellow again. I love adding the yellow. I'm not a yellow person, but I'm a Hufflepuff, so I have to go with the yellow. I actually prefer the muted colors of the scarf when it's a softer yellow and a gray instead of the harsh bumblebee black and yellow. So I've got some ribbon as well, some soft textures to go with the sort of clothing feel. I have a, a crochet ribbon is almost the exact same crochet pattern as a little trim around the cardigan sweater. I love this black and white ribbon. I don't have much of it left and I just use little bits and pieces every time that I wanna use it. Do you have things in your stash that you wanna use but keep at the same time? Yeah, first world problems. That school bus is so fun. It's from Simple Stories as well and I just, I thought it was absolutely perfect. The school buses here aren't yellow, but that's okay. It matches, <laughs> matches the outfit. The layout is starting to come together and I'm really liking what's happening. So I'm committing and I'm sticking things down and sort of making a base and then I'll add some more goodies and other things like this really cool patch. It's like felt patch with an embroidered leaf that I found in my stash. And then I'm adding all the ribbon and trim and stuff and a kind of little border underneath the title. Adhesive can always be a bit of a problem when it comes to ribbon and things like that, but I find sometimes that my dry tape runner actually works best, but sometimes I need a little liquid glue, glue pen or something like that. I love adding ribbon and trim and other sort of textiles to my scrapper pages and my planner because it gives a softer feel and a more feminine feel to my planner, and it just, I don't know, it makes me happy. I like it. So, in it goes. 
Again, I'm using that last little bit, every little tiny bit of that black and white ribbon I'll use because I absolutely love it. These frames are really fun too. They're from Maggie Holmes. And what I'm doing is actually sticking the photo uh, using the frame so I know where to stick the photo down and then I'll stick the frame to it. I love that it has polka dots because that matches my shirt and it's just fun with the trim and yeah, I love it. I love it. And that bus, I really need to put that somewhere. I was going to put it on the frame, but it just wasn't working. So I put it aside for now, but don't worry. It comes back because I love the bus. More trim and ribbon on the bottom just to sort of balance off the ones up top using the same colors, but different, different trims. But it doesn't really matter if it's different. The repetition is still there in the colors and the textures and the fact that it's ribbon. Ah, the bus is back. Isn't it cute? Oh, love it. So I found a spot for it on the bottom and it looks really cute there, sort of angled like it's going really fast. And then I found this old Heidi Swap ribbon in my stash and it says words like chuckle and grin. So I cut out chuckle, made it into sort of like a flag and stuck it up there because I just love that expression on his face and just, it makes me chuckle. So yeah, why not? Now I'm getting into the details of things and I'm adding little bits. I'm getting some glitter hearts and stars because the t-shirt that I'm wearing has glittery polka dots. So those are to reflect those. Reflect a pun, totally intended. Washi, of course, because what's a project with a washi? So I just put a little bit of yellow to match and some gold, and these are both from Paper House. Once the washi's on, then I'm going to go and get a few more stars and a bit more bits and pieces and put them around the page to sort of add a bit of depth. And I like to turn my page on its side, upside down, and that tells me whether the balance of the page is off or not. If it looks weird, strange, when it's upside down, other than the fact that it's upside down or sideways or whatever, then you know that it's not balanced or something that's missing. So I'm adding a few more stars. I like that it's star student. It really fits the theme. And that three is because he's starting grade three. A few more bits and bobs and finishing touches. If something feels like it's missing, I will fuss and look and try and find the perfect thing to fit there. And then I like adding tiny little details like these enamel dots and stars. Here's the page along with the outfits. So you can see how they compare and how the inspiration has come from the outfit. I'll link up as many of the products as I can below in the description, both for the planner and for the scrapbook layout. And now the part that all you planner girls have been waiting for, I'm gonna set up my London planner in the same color scheme as the outfit. I have my Chick Sparrow, and first what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of washi so I can have some washi on hand when I'm in London. Just winding, this is boring. I spread it ahead and I even cut some bits out, but yeah, you get the idea. You just wind the washi around some sort of piece of card or plastic, something flat so that you can tuck it into a pocket and have a little bit of washi on hand. Again, with the same color scheme, I'm gonna pop the outfit in here again so you can see, but I've got black and cream, yellow, gold, orange, all the colors that are in the outfit, but it doesn't have to be necessarily the same patterns. Like there's no check like the pants, but there is the polka dots. Then I added the wooly little pom-pom, which is not only the same color as the bag and the shoes, but it's sort of the same texture as the knit cardigan. And you saw there that I added in the same little check pattern in a pocket. And now I'm putting in the yellow in the pocket, in the big pocket at the back. And I love this giant paperclip. I found this at Casa and I bought them in like three different colors, but it's fantastic. And it's going in my planner and it's coming to London with me. And that little fox is also from Paper House and it's so cute, so cute. So it's coming as well. And the dragonfly, is because Outlander starts the day before I leave, so we have to take a little bit of Outlander because I'm also taking my Outlander planner for my daily stuff. This is actually my London planning my trip. I put Adventure on the yellow. It didn't really work. You couldn't see it. And then I had the bright idea of putting it on the dark brown and it really stands out and I love how it looks. That bow I'm keeping for later. I'm trying to decide what to do with it. And now I'm going on to the back pocket. I decided to put a doily in the back and I cut it so that it would fit and uh, but not stick out too much. Now I'm trying to find something to cover the Planner Society sticker on that little bag. So I found a bow and then it, but that didn't cover it completely, so I added a yellow circle behind it. Also, a travel mug planner clip and a sample sheet from the Ginger Cat Company that matches perfectly. There's a little bit of space there that I want to fill in the bottom of that pocket. I added a die cut and a sticker from Simple Stories. Added the rest of the doily in the front pocket and it's all done. If this type of video is your cup of tea, then I'm going to send you to this one up here in your right hand corner where you can go and watch more planner setups. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on my little face right there and keep watching. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.